Nick Evers committed to Florida shortly after Brian Johnson left. Yes. Okay. Which was a, a kind of an alarm to me because I'm, I'm close with Brian and had never heard Nick Evers' name. Um, it hurts I can vouch things. for that. When Nick Evers committed, I remember the day we did a podcast yeah. that day and you did not have a lot of info on him. No. And, and so it was like, that was weird because that was kind of, okay, your, your quarterback coach leaves and all of a sudden you go grab this kid from Texas who at the time um, was a three-star kid. And anytime that you grab a kid and you're the University of Florida or Alabama or something like that, they're going to get a bump. Right. And he did. And he's a good player. I don't want to discount that. Um, but it was never one of those guys where it was like, oh, our future's there. Our future is at Florida. He's arrived. Um, I I don't know what their plan at quarterback is, but college football is unrecognizable right now. Um, I, I spend literally my entire day on the phone with coaches right now trying to figure out the landscape with transfer portal, with, um, with recruiting, all that kind of stuff. And let me just say this recruiting – for quarterback has is just getting started. Mm-hmm. Usually it's wrapping up. This year is just now getting started. 